Hello, welcome to First Post. This is our first ever Defence Summit Future Forward. Now we have with us Dr. Manish Mishra from the Department of Mechanical and Industrial Engineering in IIT Roorkee. Hello, Professor. Hello. So, Professor, I wanted to ask, how does your department uh, collaborate with India's defence industry? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, IIT Roorkee, uh, its inception is uh, 175 years old. So that way we are the oldest institute in the Asia, okay. And then uh, even mechanical engineering department is 75 years old. Of course, uh, the head of the department, Professor Andalik Tariq, will tell you in detail about the mechanical engineering department. But in general, the IIT Roorkee's representation and collaboration with defense sector uh, in different aspects, means from electronics to civil to chemical to uh, different energy aspects. It's uh, very old. We are contributing a lot. And uh, we have different collaborative projects going on. And not only that, we are contributing in terms of real technological uh, means, uh, uh, inputs to the defense sector of India right now. All right. So now your department in particular, yeah. right, the, the uh, mechanical department. Yeah. Now, could you give us some insight as to what you're working on these days? Yeah. Right now, we are, we are uh, working in, uh, if we see the energy sector, so we are working for the defense sector, especially uh, the different aspects of uh, uh, battery uh, thermal management, because uh, if we see the battery aspect, uh, our uh, defense vehicles, uh, they are running at very high temperature, uh, 50 degrees Celsius plus to minus 20, minus 30 degrees Celsius in Ladakh. So that, that creates a lot of issues in uh, battery thermal management. And uh, we are uh, working in that aspect so that we can give a comprehensive solution in that particular thing. Second thing, uh, we are working uh, uh, as far as the uh, DRDO is concerned, we have got different projects going on. So especially the uh, uh, gas turbine blade cooling, we have got a number of old projects uh, running, especially uh, in mechanical and de engineering department. At the same time, uh, we have got other aspects of uh, the DRDO also we are working with, and uh, which will definitely uh, come in future and uh, will add uh, definitely value to the defense. So the first project you spoke about, about the batteries, trying to make them capable of running in high and low temperatures. Yes. Now, immediately for someone from the Indian defense perspective, if you look at it, we're thinking batteries that are going in the Siachen Glacier, yes. right? Batteries in the Thar Desert. Yes. But what other challenging terrain are your, does your research help counter? Uh, actually, if you see individually, these kind of problems, uh, different countries are also facing. But uh, the kind of problem our country is facing is simultaneously, simultaneously facing both the extreme conditions. Mm -hmm. So that way we need uh, not only to look for uh, the high temperature conditions, the same vehicle has to go to low temperature condition also. And that way, uh, some kind of innovative solution we need to provide that takes care of high as well as low temperature and that too at any condition. So that kind of hybrid solution uh, so far any other country has not seen and uh, they are not actually in need of that thing also. So that's why we cannot import this kind of solution. We have to generate one indigenously. Yeah, definitely. definitely. It, it will definitely be an indigenous solution. At the same time, uh, right now if we see the battery life, the kind of exposure they have. So uh, the battery solutions, uh, because of uh, the uh, defense demand and all these things, uh, we generally what happens if anything goes wrong, we generally change those batteries. So if we can take care of uh, increasing the longevity of uh, the battery, that will also add value to the overall aspect. And speaking about adding value, we could use this technology for exports then, couldn't we? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, not only it will be for the defense, then uh, definitely it will be used for the uh, commercial vehicles also and can uh, will be exported to other countries as well. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank, Thank you for all your uh, information. Thank you.